Tonight we're going into this hidden tunnel that is filled with crazy creatures, including rare blue crawfish, monster snakeheads, and even alligators. But this time, instead of seeing what's living inside of the tunnel, we're gonna be exploring these mysterious sewers that actually connect to the tunnel. Now we know there's fish inside of here because we've actually caught massive cloud nine fish and snakeheads, but we've never really explored it and we don't know what's living in there. Now the reason we haven't really explored it yet is because it's very hard to fish. Basically, you only have this little hole here or you can climb all all the way up and it's very very high up and as you can see once you climb all the way to the top you can look over and you can actually see into the sewer we don't know how deep it is we don't know what's in there but all we know is that there's fish and there's actually another one on the other side so tonight we brought a bunch of nets and a bunch of fish traps and we're gonna see what we can catch but we have to be very careful being inside of this tunnel because previously we've been attacked by monster snakeheads and we've even found alligators in here and while we haven't seen an alligator yet in the tunnel tonight we did just come across this. This right here is a snake skin. Now we don't know what kind of snake it's from, but that means there's snakes nearby. And look how long it is. This could be a python, this could be a venomous snake. We don't know, but we have to be very careful tonight. We have to be on the lookout for these snakes. And on top of all that, guys, this tunnel is loaded with spiders. I mean, everywhere you look is spiders. So obviously, guys, there is a lot of danger in this tunnel, but it's all worth it when we catch these crazy rare fish. And that's exactly what we're after tonight, guys. So let's get started. And we're gonna start on the outside of the tunnel. Right where I'm standing, I actually see a lot of little fish. I just saw like a little catfish. I think I saw a little baby snakehead. And there's a bunch of other really cool, small, exotic fish. So we're gonna net around, see what we can catch doing that. And then we're gonna venture off into the tunnel. I'm excited and I'm nervous, guys. We haven't been in there in a while. And like I said, we have run into an alligator and we did just find that snake skin. So it's a little sketchy, but we're gonna do it for you guys. And yeah, let's just get started. Start netting and see what we can catch. Here we go. There's a bunch of weeds right here and this is where all the fish are oh yeah big scoop one of the main goals tonight is the electric blue crawfish this is by far our best spot for them we've caught hundreds here and hopefully we can catch a lot more tonight nothing in that net let's keep going oh yeah oh that was a good net look oh we got a fish i saw a fish in here check it out there's a big clump of weeds but i saw a fish kicking around hopefully he didn't escape well over right here look Check that out, yes! Our first fish of the day that looks like a little baby African cichlid. That's actually really cool, guys. We don't catch African cichlids here a whole lot, so that's really cool to see. I think that's a little Mabuna, maybe? Not the prettiest African cichlid, but that is an exotic fish. But he doesn't quite meet our standards, so we're just gonna let him go. See a big guy? And we're gonna go through the rest of the net, make sure we didn't miss anything, and then we're gonna get back in there. Oh, right here, check this out. Look, 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 there's a little crawfish. That's not a blue one. So we're gonna get this guy back in the water, and we're gonna keep going. That's a good sign. Just not the exact fish that we're looking for. Oh, look at this right here. There's another African cichlid. Hey, buddy. That's a different one. This one was just in the water. We caught him with our hands. All right, we'll release him as well. You guys, there's so many fish in here. I don't even need a net. I'm catching them with my hands. We're going to do a few more nets before we head into the tunnel. Oh, I see a fish right here, right under this big patch of weeds. Let's bring it up to the bank and see what it was. Oh, wait, I hear something in here. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a little crawfish. Man, the crawfish are loaded in here. Not a blue one. Ow, he just pinched me. That's not a blue one, so we'll toss him back. I thought I saw a fish <gasps> right here. There's a fish. What is that? Oh my gosh. Yes, you guys, check that out. That's another exotic cichlid here in the creek. This is called a convict cichlid. Now, this is different from the first one we caught. You can actually see some really pretty colors on them. So this one definitely meets our standards. We're going to fill up a bucket right now, and we're going to put all the fish that we want to keep tonight in the bucket. All right, there we go. We're filling up our bucket. There's fish everywhere. And there goes our beautiful convict cichlid. See ya, buddy. Let's go see if we caught anything else in that net. These weeds are so thick, it's actually really hard to see all the fish. He's a crawfish. Oh, there's a crawfish. What's up, buddy? He's only got one arm. All right, we'll toss him back. What was that? Oh, right here. Check this out. That's a little molly. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's another aquarium. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. No way. That is actually insane. Look at this catfish right here. Oh my gosh. I think that's a little Raphael catfish. You guys. Oh my gosh. I saw the molly and I got excited. And then I saw this guy. This is a striped Raphael catfish. These guys get a lot bigger than this. He's just a little baby. And right now you can actually see he's pinching my finger. Thank you for that. Look at this. I can literally turn him upside down and he stays there. He's locked in on my finger. That is a crazy fish. We're definitely going to keep him. So let's get him in the bucket. There you go, my friend. We have two keepers already and we haven't even made it into the tunnel guys so we're gonna do a couple more nets and then we're gonna head into the tunnel and then we're gonna place some fish traps in those mysterious sewers and hopefully we can catch something crazy tonight guys so let's keep netting the water's so clear right now you can actually see the fish i don't even need a net for this guy look 
That's an African cichlid. We got him with our hands. So right now he was up at the top of the water now. That could be, it's actually gotten really cold here in South Florida. So these guys are coming up to the top of the surface. Since this guy was up at the top of the water, he wasn't looking too good. I think we're gonna help him out. We're gonna add him to the bucket. And you know what? We'll bring him home. Even though he's not the prettiest, he definitely needs our help. So we're gonna save him. All right, guys, we're gonna walk down the creek a little bit. Is that a bird? <laughs> He's hunting. He's hunting fish too. This bird right now is actually hunting fish. I think we should show this bird how it's done. He's standing there trying to catch a fish. Doesn't look like he's very good at it. And he is just- He's locked in. Is he real? <laughs> I feel like it's a statue or something. Oh there, he, oh, there he goes. See you, buddy. Check it out. It actually gets really shallow here. And I'm not seeing that many fish. We, oh, oh my God. Right there to the right. A blue crawfish right on top. Our first blue crawfish of the night. Check it out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going anywhere. We don't even need a net to catch him. Look at that. We just grabbed him with our hands, you guys. This right here is an electric blue crawfish. Fun fact about these guys. Not a lot of people know this, but they're actually native to Florida. This is their natural environment. This is where they're from. That doesn't mean they're very common. They're still very rare but this creek has hundreds of them guys we've caught so many here and this is our first one of tonight so this is really cool we're gonna add this to the keeper bucket and we're gonna keep going all right there goes our blue crawfish friend four keepers already tonight we've been here like five minutes guys i think what we should do we're gonna do one more net here in the creek and then we're gonna venture off into the tunnel i am super excited so let's do one more net and see what else we can catch oh yeah big scoop there oh yeah i like the looks of that let's see what we caught oh right here what is that? Oh no, it's a tilapia. Okay. I think this is a sign we just need to get into the tunnel and see what's in there. Cause uh, yeah, we don't want tilapia. See you buddy. All right guys, now before we head into the tunnel, I mean, look at this. Look at all the fish right here, just in the entrance. Look at it, there's thousands. I don't know what they are, but before we head in there, I want to bait up two fish traps. Cause once we get in there, I want to set these in those sewers. So we got the black one and we got the green one and we're going to bait them up right now and head into the tunnel. We're just going to get half in the black trap and half in the green trap. There it goes. All right. Let's go into a tunnel. You ready? I'm a little scared. Yeah, but... there's a lot of spiders. We saw snakes get in there. So, I mean, I mean, it's snappy. Yeah, gators. All right, let's do it, you guys. Here we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, giant crawfish. Look at this. No. All right, here we go. Snappy, we're back. If you guys didn't watch that video, right here in the deep end, right where it drops off, there was an alligator. Now, clearly this is his home. There could be his mom and dad here as well. So we have to be very careful while we're in here. But we also have to look at all these fish. Look at this. Any one of these could be something really cool. Oh, there's, wait, there's so many fish right here. Oh my gosh. This is the most fish I've ever seen in the deep end, you guys. We're gonna set our fish traps right here for now. We're gonna get in there. I'm gonna net around a little bit and see if we can catch any of these fish. Cause there is a lot right here. Oh, oh, look, right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I get it? Oh my God. Look at that, the first fish inside of the tunnel. That's a little walking catfish, I think. Look how cool that is. What's up, buddy? Oh, oh my gosh. You can see why they call him walking catfish. Look at this guy, he's going crazy. That is so cool, nice little catfish. But saying about these guys, they're actually illegal to keep here in South Florida. Oh. Well, there he goes. Well, <laughs> we were gonna release him anyways because we legally cannot keep him. And that's because they're so invasive. But you guys, look where we're standing right now. It drops off big time. And there's just fish everywhere. I couldn't really get a good look. We saw a catfish. I saw some other fish. Let's see if we can catch them. Oh my gosh. Look at that, dude. Oh, that's a massive dead peacock bass. Look, it looks like he's got like a bite mark or something. Dude, this could be the work of Snappy, the alligator. Maybe the alligator, maybe a snake bit him. I don't know, but there's a dead peacock bass in here. That is not good. Anything, what is that down there? Wait, there's another big fish. Oh, he's in the corner. Wait, there's a lot of fish. Oh my gosh, it's over here now. Oh, it's hitting my feet. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, it's hitting my feet now. Okay, whatever this is, it's big and it's alive. That was a fish for sure. I saw it. Whoa, what the heck? What was that? Whoa, oh my God. No, no, we got him. He's a minute. Okay. He flopped onto the concrete. Look, he touched the snake skin. What is that? Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Check this out, you guys. This is a beautiful Oscar. Okay, you need to relax, dude. Okay, I think I have him under control. Check that out. That's a beautiful Oscar right there. You can see he's got some beautiful orange. And that is another awesome aquarium fish in the tunnel. Beautiful Oscar, guys. We're gonna see if we can catch some more. All right, there he goes into the bucket. No splashing. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a net with some smaller holes because there is a lot of smaller fish in here. We're gonna net around and see what we can catch doing that. Let's start in this corner and see what we can get. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we got something already. Dude, 
this freaking tunnel is loaded. That right there is another catfish. This guy is not illegal to keep. He's actually a hoplo catfish. These guys are actually pretty cool. Another aquarium fish. So you know what? We're gonna keep this guy. He's actually pretty cool. There goes another keeper added to the bucket. Let's try to get some more. Now inside of all these cracks could be crawfish and they could be blue crawfish. So we gotta look really carefully. Even though the water's really murky, we might be able to find some. Oh, what the heck was that? Inside of this crack, I just saw something go in there. I, I don't know what it was. It looked like an eel. Oh, what the heck? What was that? Something just jumped out of the water. Oh my god! It's a little crawfish. Wait, what the? Oh my god. That's not a crawfish. Is that a crawfish? That does not look normal. What the heck? Do you see that thing? What did we just catch? Look at that. That is not a crawfish. That's not normal. At first glance, it looks like a crawfish, but that is not a crawfish. Oh my god. He's got like razor sharp spines at the end of his legs. That thing is crazy looking. Guys, help me out and comment down below what this is. I have no idea, but it's pretty cool. So I guess we'll throw him in the bucket, but that is something special. That's something we've never caught before. There he goes into the bucket, guys, like I said. Comment down below if you know what that is. I have no freaking idea. Look right there. That's a big fish. That's a big boy. Let's try to cut him off. Come here, buddy. Get in the net, caught him. It's too easy in this tunnel. They literally have nowhere to go. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that convict cichlid. That one is massive. We're definitely keeping this guy. Let's get him in the bucket. And yeah, like I said, guys, every net, there's just fish. There's fish everywhere. All right, I think it's time, guys. We're gonna ditch the little net and we're gonna go back to this one with the longest handle. And I'm gonna climb up there. I'm gonna try and stick the net down. Who knows what's in here and who knows if I'll be able to get it. But if this fails, we do have our fish traps. I just wanna see if I can net something real quick. Let's do it. All right, here, oh God, look at that. Look at the size of that spider. That thing is freaking huge. Oh, this is scary. Oh, he's moving. All right, oh, there was, there was something on my face too. <laughs> this is disgusting, there's insects everywhere. All right, screw it, let's do it. This is really sketchy. I mean, one slip and I could fall all the way down and that would not be good. So I have to be very careful. Oh God, there's spiders everywhere. Oh, oh God, this is scary. It's even scary because I don't have a light up here. I can't see in the water. Oh, you hear that? I hit water. Oh, I can actually hit the bottom. Wait, the sewer's not that deep, you guys. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, what the heck is that? Wait, oh my god, there's something on top of the water. Holy crap. I need a light. Let me see this. Where'd it go? There was something freaking huge in here. <laughs> what the? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a snake. Wait, there's a snake in here. Oh no. Oh no, it's in my net. Okay, this isn't good. Oh my gosh, it's a big snake. It's in my net, I literally caught it. What do I do? Oh my God, look, you can see it. Oh, it's trying to climb out right now. Oh, this is not good. Oh, there's a thing. Look, there's its freaking head. That looks venomous. He's slithering up the net. What? You have to shake it. Oh, what do you mean, do you see it? Oh my gosh. All right, I got him. I'm gonna pull him over, be careful. Hey buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna gently lower him down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no, stay in that net, you stay in there. I don't even know what to say right now. This is actually very scary. You see the triangular head right there? If I know anything about snakes, that's not good, okay? Should we walk him out to the creek maybe? We're trying to figure out what to do right now. I think we're gonna head back out to the creek and just let that thing go out there. Hopefully he stays out there. That thing looks mean. Look at this. <laughs> You see its head? That is so scary, you guys. If you're a snake person, comment down below what kind of snake this is. But yeah, we're gonna get him out to the creek and hopefully he just stays there and he doesn't bother us. We're gonna come back in here though, net around some more in the sewer. Hopefully we come out with some fish and no more snakes. Should I grab him? No. He seems friendly. Don't do it. Oh my God, I'm touching a snake right now. I don't think I've ever touched a freaking snake. Oh God, oh my God. Wait, what am I doing? Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, that's all I'm doing. Well, at least he's going that way. That's right, buddy. Keep it going. That was an eventful start. We're gonna head back in the tunnel right now, try to catch some fish. And hopefully we don't run into any more of these snakes. Look at that thing. That is just so scary. All right, guys, now that some time has passed, the water in here has actually cleared up a lot. And you can see the fish a lot easier. I mean, look at this. Look, there's a giant molly. Oh, look, down there. Oh my God. Right next to that big fish, there's a blue coral fish. Nice and slow. Come on, buddy. Got him, yes! That is a big blue crawfish, the second one of the night. Now the water's not so murky, it's actually really easy to spot them, so that is really cool. We're gonna add them to the bucket, and we're gonna keep searching right now in this deep end. And we're gonna see what other fish we can find. That is awesome. All right, there goes our second blue crawfish into the bucket. There's the first one. That guy's definitely a lot bigger. All right, let's search the cracks some more, see what else we can find. Look, there's a bunch of fish. Oh, oh I got one. Oh, wait. Oh my god, that's a blue acara! There was 
a bunch down there, I think. I think they were all blue aquas, you guys. We got one though, that's really cool. Another exotic aquarium fish. This tunnel is freaking loaded, you guys. We've caught these here before, and that is a really big one. So let's add them to the bucket, and then I think we're gonna climb all the way back up to the sewer, guys. Stick our net in there and hopefully catch some fish and find out what fish are living in there, and hopefully we don't find any more snakes. Here we go, you guys. Yeah. All right, let's get our net in there and see if we can catch any fish. Oh yeah. I can't even tell if I catch anything either. It's so dark in here. Oh! <gasps> Yo! Wait! I got a fish! Yes! Alright, there you go. Thank you, Helen. It looked like another catfish. Another Hoplo catfish. This guy's a little bit bigger than the last one. Another really cool fish. First fish out of that sewer, so that's really cool. That just... Stop. Okay, you're going in the bucket. You're done. Let's get back up there and try to catch something a little bit cooler than that. Let's go up for another net. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, what the heck? Yo, we got fish. Look at that. Oh wait, there's something else in here though. Oh my God, we got two fish. Who's going through the net? No, 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 no. What the heck? What is that? Oh my God, it's a, a dude. That's a black ghost knife. I think I, I feel him in there. I think his tail's sticking out. Oh, I do see it. Wait, the white part's his tail. Hey buddy, round two. Oh my God. Yeah, no, 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 no. Where'd he go? Oh my God. Yeah. That's a giant one too. Good eye, Helen. Oh my gosh. His little white tail was sticking out of the crack. We saw him and we got him, baby. Oh, that is such a cool fish. Look at that. All right, there he goes into the keeper bucket. Look how cool that fish is. We had something else in the net and it's a Mayan cichlid. Thank God that that fish got away and this one didn't because I really want to keep this one. Just a stupid little mine. All right, we're just going to toss it in there. All right, guys. Well, obviously there's a lot of fish in there, but it's so hard to go up and down and try to net them out. I think the best way to do this is to place our fish trap. So let's get the first fish trap in there. I'm going to try and throw it all the way over there because I don't I don't want to climb up there again. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Yes. And we got the string. So when we check the trap, we can just pull it. That is so perfect. Okay, I'm really excited for that. Now we're gonna place the second fish trap, but we have to climb all the way up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me my net. Here. There's a giant fish. Oh my god, no freaking way. I think I see it actually. Here, try to shine the light through the hole, maybe? Oh, I see him! Wait, just like that. Keep it just like that. I see it. I got him! Oh, God! Oh, God! It's a, I think it's a giant snake head. Relax, buddy. Stop! Oh, God! It's huge. You guys, we got a giant snake head in the net right now. Come on! It's so heavy. Yes! Look at that! Oh, God! Look at this! Alright, let's get him down. This is literally like the hardest sewer we've ever had to fish. But look at this. Look what we got. Oh, relax, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful that is. A freaking sewer monster right in the tunnel. Look at that. He's even got blue scales. You don't see that too often. That is a really pretty one. That's definitely not what we were after. We were after more of the exotic rare fish. But this guy is really cool. Oh, my God. What is wrong with its eye? Ew. What the heck? It definitely looks like it came out of the sewer. I don't know what we should do with them. Set him off this way. Here you go, buddy. See you. Oh. Okay, what's the color this one? Okay. Snake in that one, snake head in this one. These sewers are jam packed full of crazy stuff. And right now we're gonna get our second fish trap, throw it over there, and we're gonna leave them overnight, guys. And I'm sure we're gonna catch some crazy fish. We're already off to an insane start. So let's get the second fish trap up and over and into the sewer. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, well that kind of worked, it's in the sewer. No rope. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no rope on that one. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to climb up again and get that fish trap, but for now guys, while these fish traps marinate, we're gonna explore more of this hidden tunnel. Now we've actually never crossed the entire tunnel before. It goes on forever, at least that's what it looks like. We're gonna try one of these days to fully cross the tunnel, but for now, we're gonna walk a little bit further in there and see what other crazy creatures we could find. All right, gotta make sure there's no gators, no snakes. Look at this, and these cracks are, what is that? Oh my God, right here, holy crap, holy crap. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's a prawn, no way, I got him. You guys, check this out, this is not a crawfish, this isn't a shrimp, this is a prawn. I don't think we've ever caught one here before, but this is a massive one, that is so cool. Another crazy alien-like creature living in this tunnel. I mean, look at that thing, that is just crazy looking. We're gonna add him to the bucket and we're gonna keep exploring, but that is really cool, guys. That is an awesome sign. There's some crazy stuff in here. Look right there, that's a snake head. Oh, he's coming this way. 
He's gonna go right past. Oh no! Where did he go? I think he's in this corner now, you guys. That was a little baby snake head. We're gonna leave him be. We don't really care about snake heads. We don't want him. Oh, there's the snake head. <laughs> Never mind, you know what? We're gonna catch him. Three, two, one. Got him! Look at that, I got him! Oh yeah! That's a little baby snake head right there. That's so cool. There he goes. We'll leave him be. See ya, buddy. Oh, what is that? Wait, what the heck is that? Look at this thing, it's so round. I'm gonna grab my hands. Got him! What the? <laughs> What on earth did we just catch? It looks like a Mayan cichlid, but like insanely fat. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like that. Guys, if you want to do this, comment down below, but it's actually got some pretty colors on them too. I have no idea. That's really cool though. I don't know what it is, but we're going to keep it. It looks like a Mayan, but just like super fat. You guys, look at this. We just came across another blue crawfish. He's in his little hole right there. You can see. I think he sees us. I'm going to try and grab him. Come here, buddy. I got him. Look at that. We just pulled him out of his little home there. You can see this is where all the crawfish sit, guys. They find little holes, little cracks in the ground, and they sit in there. And we just caught ourselves our third blue crawfish of the night. That is so cool. We're just going to set him in our little floating net right here, and we're going to keep going. Look right there. Right by that plastic bottle. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, check this out. Under this bottle, it looks like a crab. You can't hide from us. Oh my god. Whoa. That is like the prettiest crab I've ever seen. Got him. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that crab is, you guys. I have no idea what kind of crab that is, but that is so cool. We should definitely keep this guy. He was trying to hide from us under that plastic bottle, but that is crazy. That's not what I was expecting. I was not expecting to find a crab tonight in the tunnel, but we sure did, guys. You never know what you're going to find in here. If you guys look down there, it literally just never ends. If you want us to come back here and walk all the way through, just let me know. Leave a like. There are just fish everywhere. This is insane. Oh my, what was that? What um. was that? <laughs> um, did you hear that? That was not normal. That had to have been like a gator or something. Okay, no thank you. You guys, we're gonna head back. Uh, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back in a few hours and check the fish traps. We're not going any further that way. I swear that was a gator sound. All right, let's get out of here. All right, you guys, it has been three hours. It's the middle of the night right now and these fish traps have been in there for a while. So we're gonna head in there right now. Hopefully we don't see any gators, no snakes, and we're gonna pick up both fish traps and see what we caught, guys. Let's do it. All right, you guys, check it out. So we have one fish trap on this side and then we have one on this side. I think we're gonna pick up this one first. It does have the rope, so it'll be a lot easier. So here we go, guys. Let's see what we caught in the first fish trap. All we have to do is pull this rope and hopefully the fish trap will come up. Look at this, we can even see it through the window right here. Maybe we'll get a little sneak peek if we caught anything. Here we go. Oh, there it is right there. Do we see anything? Oh, what is that? What is that right there? That's a fish. Oh yes, we caught something. Oh my, oh my God. Um, there's something big in there. Oh my God. Look at the trap. Wait, it's jam packed right now. Oh my gosh, wait, I might have to get up there. There's a lot of fish in there. Oh my gosh. The trap is freaking jam packed. It's so heavy. There we go, we got it. All right, I'm gonna send it down. There it goes. Let's see what we caught, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at this, you guys. There's so many fish in this trap. Okay, we're gonna head out to the creek right now where the bucket is, and we're gonna unload it, see all the fish that we caught. I can see right off the bat, there's some really good stuff in here. All right, first fish, what is this? Convict cichlid, nice. Oh my gosh, look how tiny that Mayan cichlid is. That's so adorable. What are these, dude? Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a Jack Dempsey, no way. Look how giant that Jack Dempsey is. That is beautiful, but this guy, oh my gosh. That right there is some sort of royal placo, and that's a really pretty one. So that's really cool. There goes the placo, there goes the Jack Dempsey. I got some bigger fish in here. Check this guy out. Look at the, so dude, what the heck is that? Comment down below if you know. But there it goes into the bucket. What else we got? We have this giant freaking catfish. Oh God, ow, he just pinched me. Oh, that really hurt. Look at this. Yes, dude, oh my God. Look at the spines down its body. That's crazy looking. That's not a rip saw, but it looks pretty similar to one. I think I've seen these before. I can't remember what they're called. You guys, please help me out. That's a really sick looking catfish though. We're gonna add him to the bucket. There he goes. What is that? Oh my gosh, no way. This is a tiny version of the fish we just caught. That is literally the exact same fish. That is so cool. This might be this one's baby. That is so sick. All right, well, we got two of these mystery catfish. There they go. And the rest, I think, are just a bunch of mollies. Yeah, so we're just gonna dump these guys back. And then we're gonna head back in there and check the second fish trap, guys. The first one was definitely a success. There's some really cool fish in there, so let's go check the second one. Now I'm gonna have to climb up all the way to the top of the second sewer. We didn't have a rope attached to this trap, so now I have to get up there and we have to try to net it with this. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> Well, I can actually see the trap right now. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Oh my God, it's heavy. Wait, 
Wait, it's really heavy. Oh my gosh! There's our fish trap. Oh, what the? Oh, oh my god! There's a snake. There's a snake in the trap. There's a snake in the. Um, nope, 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 no, thank you. There's a snake in the trap. Look, you can see him moving in there. Oh my god, this one's so much bigger. Oh my gosh. There's fish in there too. Oh no. Oh my god, I see its face. Look at it. Oh, oh, the fish are going crazy. We got it. You got it. Oh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Can we see anything in there? Look, I see the snake. That snake is literally massive. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, is it this way or this? This way. I'm lost. This way, here we go. Let's set the trap right here. What the? Wait, is that the tilapia? Or... <gasps> Dude, that's a fish! There's a massive white fish in here. I thought it was our freaking bait, and then it started moving. Oh, God, there's the snake. <gasps> Watch out, the snake's right there. I guess we'll open it up. Uh... Holy crap, look at its belly. I think it ate something. Oh, God. Oh, here it comes. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh my God. It... Oh, it's staring at me. Oh, it doesn't like me. It's pissed off. Is this mouth open? Oh, my God. Ew. Okay, so unlike the first snake, this one is very mad. Look at this thing. It's opening its mouth at me. I want I want my fish. There's cool fish in there. I saw them, and I need them. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming straight towards me. <laughs> Get Get out of here. Look at its belly right here. Dude, it ate one of our fish in there. Oh, that actually really sucks. You guys, right there in his belly is literally one of our fish. It ate a fish. There it goes, there it goes. Oh no, no the trap. No, it's coming at you. Oh no, the trap. He just turned the trap upside down. We might have just lost a fish there. Okay, well the snake's out of the trap, that's good. Let's move over here in, in the corner. Look at this. Is this a freaking convict cichlid? What is that? If that's a convict cichlid, that's the biggest one I think I've ever seen, you guys. We're gonna add this guy to the bucket. I think that might be a giant convict cichlid, look. Here's a normal comic cichlid, so we know they're in the sewer. There they go. Oh, look right here. Yes, a blue crawfish. That's what, our fourth one tonight? That's a pretty good haul. There he goes. Oh, nice. A little African cichlid, okay. There's a lot of mollies, a lot of little tiny normal stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that Jack Dempsey. Anything else, let's dump it out. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at that. Look at that catfish. I don't even know what that is. Look at this, a normal crawfish. That's a big crawfish, all right. You guys, that was insane. We have a whole bucket right here full of keepers from tonight, some crazy fish. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head back to my house and get all of them into the backyard ponds in the fish tanks. We'll see you guys back at my house. All right, you guys, we've made it back to my house and we're gonna start putting all the fish that we caught today into my backyard ponds. And we're starting here at the Oscar Army. Check it out. We caught an Oscar today and we're gonna go ahead and add him into this pond. Here he is right here it's a pretty one he'll go great in here so welcome to the oscar army and we also caught this weird mystery i think it's a massive convict cichlid and that is this guy right here i mean look at that if this is a convict this must be like a freaking world record right here so we're gonna go ahead and add him to the pond there he goes i just realized this guy would also be perfect for this pond so i guess we're gonna see how big this guy will get there he goes and now guys we've made our way to the mystery pond check it out in the bucket we have a bunch of really cool fish that we're gonna add to this one. Look at that, they just float around. Ow, stop pinching me, ow. The little mini version of that catfish. We'll go ahead and add to this pond as well. There he goes. And this guy is definitely a perfect fish for the mystery pond, because I have no idea what it is. There you go, buddy. We got this little mystery catfish, another convict cichlid. I think we got a couple more fish we're gonna add here, and then we got some crawfish we're gonna add to the crawfish jungle gym. All right, you guys, we've made it to the crawfish jungle gym. Check it out. Now, the weather is really cold here in South Florida, so all the crawfish are on the bottom, but but this is where we throw all the crawfish we catch, no matter what color they are. And right here, we have four blue crawfish. And we got this guy. Honestly, I don't even know if that's a crawfish or not. But we're going to add him to this pond as well, along with the prawn. Oh, and we're also going to add this little crab in here. So there they go. And the last fish that we caught today is this guy, a little baby royal placo. Now we're going to add this guy to the mix. This is the first placo in here. There he goes. We're just going to stick him right there. All right. And that's all the fish that we caught today, guys. So if you want me to go back to that hidden tunnel, and try to find more crazy fish all you got to do is go down there and leave a like subscribe down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out